In this video, you're going to learn how to password protect and also encrypt any PDF document so that whenever you send it to the end user or viewer, they'll need to enter the specific password that you set using this free tool that I'm about to show you. Whether you want to send a PDF document that contains sensitive information, or let's say you're selling an ebook or a guide that's in PDF format, and you only want your customers to have access to that, this tool will help you password protect and encrypt your PDF. All right, so the tool you'll need to protect your PDF is called Small PDF. Head to Tools, and then underneath Sign and Security, you'll see Protect PDF. Click that and then you'll land on the Password Protect PDF tool. Next, prepare your PDF that you want to password protect. In my case, I've just got this article for this demo and I'll just drag and drop it now to this red area. You'll then be prompted to select and choose a password. So I'm just going to go with the infamous password password. And to give you a bit of peace of mind, small PDF will not only set this password for you on the PDF, They'll also encrypt it with 128-bit AES encryption. So this virtually means no one can unlock or remove that password that you've set. With your password set, click on Encrypt PDF. And now your PDF has been locked. You can see it with the indicated graphic right here. Once done, click on Download. And then you'll see your protected PDF file. Open that up. And now anyone who tries to open it will be prompted for the specified password. Let's now give it a shot. I'm going to enter password as the password, which I highly do not recommend, of course. And you'll see the article now unlocked. Bear in mind, there is a daily limit in terms of how many PDF documents you can process and download as shown on the pricing and plans page. It is free, as I said, but again, there's a daily document download limit. Apart from that, small PDF does offer a range of other PDF editing tools. You've got viewing and editing tools, converting from PDF or converting to PDF. So check that out if you want to make any more edits to your PDF documents. Apart from that, thanks so much for watching and hope this was helpful in helping you password protect your PDF documents. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.